In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 coronavirus disease that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, dark angel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gathered once again to celebrate God's love for us in honoring the Holy Child Jesus, Señor Santo Niño. In this Eucharistic sacrifice, we pray for a swift end of the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts the world that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, grant success to those working to eradicate this scourge, help us all to persevere in faith and welcome into his kingdom all who pass away because of this disease. We also remember and pray for all the intentions of all the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Oh my God. 
from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth, and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things, and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Paul and Timothy, slaves of Jesus Christ, to all the holy ones in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to God, my God, at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right that I should think this way about all of you because I hold you in my heart. You who are all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, for the glory and praise of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are the words of the How great are the words of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of 
from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply, asking, is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silent. So he took the man and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning also to those who are following us in our Eucharistic celebration here in the Basilica via the Facebook Live and at the different uh, social media platforms that live stream us as well. And in particular, may also greet those who are members of the faculty, the teaching and the non-teaching, and the students of Colegio del Santo Nino, who are also joining us through the live uh, stream a mass because today is their culmination of their rosary month and they will have uh, an on online activity for their rosary celebration by having an online uh, living rosary. So greetings to all of you, and may Senor Santo Nino continue to bless you. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel depicts to us a kind of an appreciation for the law of the Lord, which touches on what we call the practicality of the law. Kung sabot ka ni kita sa practicality, ang but pa sabot ana mga kaigsunan nga ang balaod nga atong gisunod, the law that we are following can be done sa rang himuon. The fact that the law should be practical, it's because ang law, ang balaod is a guidance, a guide of the heart of the soul of the whole person. So muna nga kinahanglan ang balaod mga kaigsunan should be practical in a sense that ang nagsunod ini 
will in one way ma familiarize niya ang iyang kaugalingon sa paghimo ana nga law particular law particular nga balaod aron sa adlaw-adlong pagbuhat niya ana mga kaigsoonan it will become his or her second nature like for example kita naatay mga unwritten laws nga nasulat na sa atong kasing-kasing and that is why gihimo nato adlaw-adlaw like for example in the natural law natural law so but pasabot na ana sa atong nature na ana sa atong kinaiyahan isip tawo ang atong appreciation sa natural law in a sense nga ato gyud likayan ang dautan ug ato gyud daigon ang kaayuhan ato permi i appreciate ang maayo atong likayan ang makadaot kanato o makabutang kanato sa katalagman that is natural in us and hence kung gibuhat nato na adlaw-adlaw dili nata masayop dili nata masipyat it's because nga every day it's already written in the depths of our souls in our hearts now in the gospel reading going back to the uh, story that Jesus and the Pharisees and the teachers of the law are discussing about Jesus was in one way telling them nga ang pag appreciate sa balaod sa Dios ang particular di ay nga balaod sa Dios nga ilang giistoryahan din hi sa gospel reading nato mga kaisunan is that of the sabbath law kung nakahibalo mo o nasayod mo mahitungod sa intricacies sa pagsunod sa sabbath law sa mga Jews o mga Hudyo very strict na siya mga kaigsunan to the point that they cannot start a fire dili sila maka dagkot bitaw no kanang uh, makahimog kalayo dili sila makahugas sa ilahang mga uh, kuan utensils dili sila kalakaw makabitbit og unsa nga mga butang that that entails what we call effort na ay naagi kusog ba kay ngano man sabath man unsay pasabot nila sa sabath respetuon nila o respetuhan nila ang adlaw igpapahulay kay tungod sa biblia especially in the book of genesis there it is written that the lord rested on the seventh day so in order to honor it wala sad sila magtrabaho wala sad sila bisan ang pinakagamay nga nga trabaho nila dili nila mahimo kay aron respetuan ang gihimo sa Dios o i mean ang gi, gipakita sa Dios ang gi demonstrate sa Dios kanila on that seventh day however these are interpretations of the law gi interpret gi sabot ug sobra sad ang pagsabot to the point nga dili na practical kay for example si Jesus in the gospel telling them Unya, kung mahagbong di ito ang imong anak o ang imong kabaw dito sa cistern o sa sana atabay wala wala day kay buhaton kay imo pang pa, palawso ng usa ka adlaw usa nimo kuhaon katong nahagbong sa atabay nya mamatay to kuno ang imong anak ang imong kabaw nga mo, mo imong panginabuhian you will not do something about it but pasabot the law that Jesus is telling them or reinterpreting them is a law that is deeper into the understanding not only the outward dili lamang kay ang gihatagan og value sa pagrespetar sa Dios nga nagpahulay sa ikapitong adlaw sa pagbuhat niya sa langit ug sa yuta ug sa tibuok uh, existence wala siya nagpasabot mga kaigsunan nga literal gayud ang pagsunod nimo to the point that you will not do any good on the time of the sabbath but pasabot mga kaigsunan nga ang atong pag appreciate sa practicality sa law mga kaigsunan is that in the end even though it seems it seems no murag wala siya nagrespetar pero kung tanaho nimo ang kahiladman sa pagsunod ana o sa kahulugan sa pagsunod ana sa balaod 
you are still respecting the very essence of the law. Ang pinakauyuk sa balaod. In a sense nga, kung mahagbong tong imong anak sa example ni Jesus sa Ebanghilyo, o ang imong ox, o ang imong kabaw ba sa ato ah, you can do, you can still save them, but still respecting the law, because in essence, you can still respect the Lord in the very action that you have done. Nga naman mga kaisan, Jesus would like to let us understand nga ang atong pagsunod di ay sa balaod, dili ka ng blind, dili ka na bitong binuta nga pagtanaw sa balaod. Kay sometimes we follow the law blindly to the point that we cannot do beyond what is being said by the law. Yes, we are following the law, but are we alive in following the law? Sa pagsunod sa balaod, mga kaigsunan, naghatag ba kita o ginabuhi? Nahimo ba kitang instrumento sa makahuluganon ng pagsunod sa Diyos? It means that the practicality of the law leads us into a kind of an appreciation that in the end, ang kinabuhi na ito, napunting diha sa Diyos. kay ang law, ang balaod, mga kaisunan, will lead us not anywhere except ang Diyos. So muna, mga kaisunan, nga si Jesus, in one way, challenge the understanding of these teachers of the law and of the Pharisees in order for them nga maka matabitaw sila sa tinuod nga kahulugan sa balaod sa atong kinabuhi. And deeper in that, in the second point, my dear brothers and sisters, in light also of our first reading, the law that we are appreciating and we are following beyond, beyond its literal meaning, is that nga hinautong sa paghimo nato ni ini adlaw-adlaw, sa pagkaktis nato kini mga kaisunan sa atong kaugalingon, ang grasya maatua. But masabot mga kaigsunan, nagsunod niya ita sa balaod, kay ganahan ta, nga mapunting ta, kung asa pa doon ang balaod, which is in the Lord Jesus, in God. Wala na may laing puntingan ang balaod. Gigiyahan ang atong kasing-kasing, gigiyahan ang atong tibuok pagkatawo sa balaod, aron madritsugid ta sa atong gisunod, nga si Kristo Jesus, God, sa kingdom sa Diyos, sa gingharian sa Diyos. In order for us that, sa ako na nasultigan niya, kung adlaw-adlaw na natong buhato ng balaod, na himo na siyang second nature ka nato, it will become a grace, gracia, gift, nga magkaana kita o kaalam sa pagsabot sa kinabuhi. Nagsunod kita ang balaod para makasabot data sa atong kinabuhi. Makasabot ta sa kahulugan sa atong kinabuhi nga dili lang nag-inusara o dili lang kita naghimo sa atong kahulugan kundi naagi partisipasyon o kabahin ang Diyos ni ini mga kaigsunan. And that's why in the first reading nindot kaayo, ingon siya nga, may, no, in your work where you have started in the grace of God, continue it in the fulfillment in the grace of God. So, but pasabot mga kaigsunan, ang atong gihimo din nga pagsunod sa balaod, nga atong gifamilyarize gi, gi ang atong kaugalingon sa paglakaw ni ng kalibutan so that our hearts will be opened into the grace of God so that our lives may become gracious. So nagsunod ta sa balaod, not blindly, nagsunod ta sa balaod, not like the example of the Pharisees and of the teachers of the law in the gospel, but according to the will of God into our lives, so that sa pag-abli na to, sa kasing-kasing na to, diha, sa grasya sa Diyos, mamahimo kita nga instrumento sa pagkamakahuluganon sa atong kinabuhi, nga ato usab i-share sa uban. Kung tanawa na to, mga kaigsunan, for example, if we are following the law, if we are law-abiding, obedienta, pero wala na siya'y kahulugan na to, kay nahimo na siyang routine, nahimo na siyang parang murag, murag kanang part na lang, automatic na lang sa atong kaugalingon, pero walay kahulugan. Can you become happy? Unless that you understand what you're doing. And that is the point of God, the point of Jesus in our lives. 
in understanding the law that we are following, we become gracious so that the life that we understood so well, the life that we know that it is being immersed in the grace of God, malipay ta nga mag-share o magpaambit sa uban. Because we cannot share a kind of a life, a kind of a self, nga walay or devoid sa gitawag nato nga grasya o kahulug, kahulugan sa Dios. We cannot share unless God is in us. We cannot share unless Christ has started the work of grace into our lives. And with that, my dear brothers and sisters, this becomes a challenge for all of us. Nga sa adlaw-adlaw na itong pagpuyo nining kalibutan na, sa adlaw-adlaw pag pag uh, unre- pag reveal pag unveil sa atong kinabuhi kung balikan nato nga atong kaugalingon mga kaigsoonan and ask honestly ourselves am i following the law except pa sa sa realidad nga sometimes we cannot follow the law but in times that we are following the law am i following the law to the fullest in a sense that it can lead me to the grace of god or i i am just or am i just following the law for the sake of fulfilling the law in order for me to survive. But life is not just all about survival. Life is worth living. Dili lang ka ni survive ta adlaw-adlaw para nga makaingon ta nga okay ta, pero ang fulfillment sa kinabuhi nga prepare sa Dios ka natong tanan so that we can become gracious and meaningful so that we can live we, we can live life with grace, with honor. We can live our life indeed according to the will of God. And it is not just a wasted moments of grace. And hence, my dear brothers and sisters, kung pangutan o na to, balik ang atong kaugalingon karon. can we say boldly into ourselves in front of the Lord Jesus right now that we are doing this because we want to open our lives in grace? Mangutan na ko ninyo sa pagbalik nato diri sa santo ninyo, sa pagsimba nato. Are we just doing this because naandan lang nato ni nga magdubi nata? O because ni ari ka kay tungod na akay rason? Na ay meaning? Na ay kalipay sa pagbalik din hi sa pagdibusyon kang senior santo ninyo? And that is a question worth asking. Because as I have said, life is not just a sense of survival. Life in God, in grace, is worth living. Amen. Let us all stand, let us all pray for all the things that we need. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God our Father, who has called us His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. In every petition, let us pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the servant of God, Teofilo Kamomot Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Señor Santo Niño, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to, be, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord of the sacrifice their hands for the grace and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with his assisting bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Augustine, Saint Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray confidently to the Father in the very words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as sin is Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Jesus Christ.
Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, is in your way the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, He'll take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that this should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be. The body of Christ. Amen. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
at the banquet in honor of the child born of the virgin we pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and the works of love so that we may find favor in your sight grant this true jesus christ our lord Amen. perpetual novena in honor of senor santo nino O Señor Santo Niño, you are our King and our God. We, we worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words, only with you shall they speak. Our sufferings, that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Signor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. Supplications to Santo Nino. 
In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. Santo Nino, help us. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. Santo Nino, help us. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. Santo Nino, help us. In the failure of our plans and hopes. Santo Nino, help us. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. Santo Nino, help us. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. Santo Nino, help us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. Santo Nino, help us. When our heart is cast down by failure. Santo Nino, help us. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. Santo Nino, help us. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Santo Nino, help us. Always, always, in spite of weakness, false and shortcomings of every kind. Santo Nino, help us. Let us pray. O, o Santo, Santo Nino, Nino who has said, Ask and you shall receive, Seek and you shall find, Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give we beseech you to us who ask, The gift of your divine love, That we may love you with our whole heart, In word and work, And never cease from showing forth your praise, Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom do you solidly establish in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Concluding prayer. O miraculous Santo Nino, prostrate before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so incline to pity. Be softened at our prayers, and grant us the grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers, and send us consolation and aid, that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Uh, who among you uh, who has a images of Signor Santo Nino, of the Blessed Virgin, rosaries, you may lift it up so that we can bless it without sprinkling of the holy water. Blessing of religious articles. God, by whose word all things are made holy, Pour out your blessing on these religious articles, symbols of faith and devotion, and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with the spirit of thanksgiving, may experience by your power, health in body, and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name, true Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow down and pray for God's blessing. May the hearts of your faithful, submitted to your holy name, entreat your help, O Lord. And since without you they can do nothing that is just, grant by the abundant mercy that they may both know what is right and receive what they need for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Viva Pit Senor! Viva Pit Senor! Mayong buntag ka natong tanan. Dagon salama na sa tumbiyo ay sukod ang tumamo ikaw ang Santo Niño, salama Dios. Santo Niño, 
Salam al-Rasul.